The drive to use nuclear power to reduce energy emissions is gaining global support, according to delegates at COP28. Sweden has very high set ambitions in our climate targets of reaching net zero by 2045. And it's simply not realistic to do that without nuclear. The IAEA attended the International Climate Change Conference once again this year to highlight how nuclear technologies help fight the climate crisis. The IAEA has every reason to be here at the COP28 because it offers solutions for climate change challenges from mitigation to adaptation to monitoring. During the conference, the agency released a key statement backed by around 40 countries about the necessity of using nuclear power for reaching net zero climate emissions. And multiple high level events shared a similar message. The science and the reality of facts and evidence tell us that you can't get to net zero 2050 without some nuclear. If you want to reconcile jobs creation, strategic autonomy and sovereignty, and low carbon emission, there is nothing more sustainable and reliable than nuclear energy. In addition, the leaders of Belgium, France, and the IAEA announced a first-of-its-kind high-level summit to take place next year on nuclear power. The phenomenon is, is, is clear in front of us. Uh, climate change, global warming, we need a solution that is sustainable for all. Nuclear is part of that, and we need this, this to be global. This is why the IEA is here, and we need this to be done according to certain rules in a safe way, uh, in a secure way. This is why I'm so proud to be working with Prime Minister Macron, President Macron, uh, and other leaders in the world to make this a reality. Other events also discussed the many ways nuclear is providing countries with science-based techniques for food, water, and ocean challenges, including a visit to a Kuwaiti ocean research vessel. We cannot have a healthy planet without a healthy ocean. The ocean's health is currently in decline, so we need the nuclear techniques in our toolbox to halt that decline, and I'm confident we will. Once more, youth activists also played a central role, finding innovative ways to share the message that to be pro-environment is to be pro-nuclear. I'm a nuclear energy influencer, and I'm here at COP28 in Dubai. And I'm super excited because nuclear energy's presence in this COP has been unprecedented. And that is incredible news because finally nuclear energy is being recognized for what it is, which is a source of clean energy. And I would like to take a moment to appreciate how far we've come to create a future of energy abundance for all and a future free of the threat of climate change. Net zero need. Nuclear.